Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today we will discuss from question number 31. A corpel is a leaf which has been modified to produce option A microsporenia, option B two male gametes, option C pollen grains, option D ovules. So the correct option is option D ovules. Question number 32. The statement are leaves the stamens are leaves modified for the production of option a microspores option b megaspores option c ovules option d seed so the correct option is option a microspores question number 33 the sepals and petals are option a reproductive parts of flowers option b non-reproductive parts of flowers option c parts of gametophyte Option D both A and B. So the correct option is option B non reproductive parts of flower. Question number 34 The ovule contains option A microsporangium, option B male gametophyte, option C embryo sac, option D all A, B, and C. So the correct option is option C embryo sac, and ovule contain embryo sacs. Question number 35. The unisexual flowers are called unisexual flowers. Kya kehlate hai? Option A. Staminate. Option B. Carpilate. Option C. Both A and B. And option D. Monoecious. So the correct option is option C. Both A and B. Question number 36. If staminate and carpilate flowers are present on same plant, it is termed as Option A monoecious, option B dioecious, option C unisexual, option D none of the above. So the correct option is option A monoecious. Question number 37. Date palms are option A dioecious, option B monoecious, option C neuter, option D bisexual. So the correct option is option A dioecious. Question number 38. In angiosperms, double fertilization produces two distinct portions of the seed. The endosperm portion's role is to Option A. Develop into the embryo. Option B. Nourish the embryo. Option C. Develop into the mature sperm. Option D. Serve as a reservoir for extra DNA. So the correct option is Option B. Nourish the embryo. Question number 39. Each of the following is a part of a seed except the option A embryo, option B endosperm, option C seed coat, option D gametophyte. So the correct option is option D gametophyte. Question number 40. The mature female gamete gametophyte of an angiosperm is option A the archegonium and its egg cell. Option B, the ovule inside the ovary. Option C, the corpel after pollination. Option D, an embryo sac with 8 nuclei and 7 cells. So the correct option is option D, an embryo sac with 8 nuclei and 7 cells is the correct option. Question number 41. Which part ultimately matures into a fruit? Option A, integument. Option B, ovary. Option C archegonium, option D ovule, so the correct option is option B ovary, ovary part jota ultimately matures into a fruit. Question number 42. Which of the following is part of the third whorl of flower? Option A calyx, option B corolla, option C petal and option D stamen, so the correct option is option D stamen. Question number 43. Which of the following is formed in the double fertilization and becomes an endosperm? Option A. Synergid cells. Option B. Antipodal cells. Option C. Primary endosperm nucleus. Option D. Triploid nucleus. This comes 3 and can on there. So the correct option is option D. Triploid nucleus is the correct option. Question number 44. A pollen grain is pollen grain kya hota hai? Option A immature male gametophyte, 
ऑप्शन बी स्पोर ऑप्शन सी फ्रूटिंग बॉडी एंड ऑप्शन डी मैच्योर मेल गेमिटोफाइट सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन ए इम मैच्योर मेल गेमिटोफाइट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फाइव इन प्लांट्स स्पोर्स आर फार्म बाय वन वेयर इज गैमिट्स आर फार्म बाय टू सो ऑप्शन ए इज वन म्योसिस टू माइटोसिस ऑप्शन बी वन फियन एंड टू फियन फिशन एंड फियन ऑप्शन सी वन म्योसिस टू म्योसिस ऑप्शन डी वन माइटोसिस टू माइटोसिस सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन ए वन म्योसिस एंड टू माइटोसिस इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन सो डेयर स्टूडेंट्स ये था हमारा आज का लेक्चर कल न्यू वीडियो के साथ मिलते हैं स्टे कनेक्टेड अल्लाह